In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a complicated form alongside with its net. I'll start with a hexagonal prism and alter it further. For a hexagonal prism, you'll need two identical hexagons and six identical rectangles. Since the hexagon is a complicated form to draw, unlike a square or triangle, I'll show you an easy way to create a hexagon. Draw six lines in the length you want each of the walls of your hexagon to be. Then arrange them into a hexagonal shape by connecting each of the ends of the lines together. Mark a dot where two of the lines meet and connect those dots. Since you'll need two identical hexagons for your prism, cut out the first one and trace it alongside an empty spot on your paper, making sure you leave a little bit of room for the additional pieces. Now create the walls of your prism. These are each created by a rectangular shape. For the size of your rectangle, one side should be equal to the length of your hexagon's wall, and the other should be the desired height of your form. Draw out your rectangle and cut it out, and now you can use this rectangle to trace identical rectangles alongside the walls of your hexagon. Once you've got all parts of your form drawn out, go ahead and cut out your net and start assembling it into a prism. Fold alongside each of the lines and start taping the walls together. Now you can start altering your prism. Mark out the section you want removed, then cut it out. Once you have that section cut out, you want to cover up that hole with another piece of paper. Grab a scrap piece of paper and tape it onto one of the straight sides of your cut. Fold that piece of paper over the empty space, then use a sharpie to trace alongside where the prism meets the paper. Cut alongside your traced lines, and once you notice the shape covers the open space accurately, tape it into place. This new cutout is called a facet. Create as many facets as you'd like, adding interest and individuality to your form. Once you are done altering your form, it is now time to disassemble your form and create a new net. Mark one of the sides of your form as the center and create notches to the walls it's connected to. This will give you a guideline for how to flatten out your form. Wherever you see a notch connected to the central piece, you'll know not to cut away at that fold. Once your form is disassembled, it is now time to figure out how to create a net that takes up the least amount of space. The goal is to reduce the net with the least amount of negative space in between so that the least amount of material is used. As you can see, the prism took up a greater amount of surface area when it was initially disassembled, and with a few adjustments, the new net has condensed into a much narrower section. When you're done rearranging the sections of your net, grab a new piece of paper and trace alongside the perimeter of your net. Also. Fold alongside each of the sections, tracing alongside each of the folds located on the interior of the net. Once you've got an accurate tracing of your net, reassemble your form. Experiment with a variety of prisms, incorporating facets and interesting angles. The possibilities are endless.